eight scroll antipat chrysanthemum tanita nuts tanitas. So good day. My name is Koshantanan, and my given name is Heather Harris, and I'm from Staminas. And I'm here today to show you some beading. My background in beading is that I've been beading since I was six years old, and I feel like anybody could do it. So this project with the Vancouver Island Regional Library is to show you how to create a beaded red dress pin. For this project, you will be needing some beads, a needle, a pin, fire line beading thread, needle nose pliers, scissors, and not pictured here, you will also need some glue. I recommend E6000 or super glue. So today, um, the pattern we're using is from the Little Red Dress Project. And for our first row, we're gonna start off with we're actually gonna start off from the widest part of the pattern. And the first, we're gonna start off with two beads, a red and a black. So you take your two beads and you bring it down and you leave about an inch and a half or two at the bottom. We call it a tail. And what you're gonna do is take your needle and go through the bottom of that red and black bead, pull your thread through, and you're gonna do this twice. Again, through the bottom of the red bead and the, go through the black, pull your thread through, and what you can do, what happens is that your beads are gonna end up side by side if it doesn't, you can help move it. They are tiny beads, so they can be hard to hold at first. So those are your two beads together, side by side. And then you for the middle part, you're adding, you're gonna have 10, add 10 red beads to follow the pattern. You're gonna pick up one bead now instead of two. So, uh, and for the next step, you're gonna go through the bottom of the black bead and pull your thread through and it secures the red bead to be beside it. And to secure that bead, you're actually gonna go through the red bead, the bottom, so they end up on top. So your thread always ends up on top. And you're gonna continue, so another red bead. through the bottom. Pull your thread through. Go through the opposite side of the bead. And we continue this step until we finish the first row.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have our ten red in the middle. And we're gonna go back with the black bead. And our last bead on this row is a red. So, so now that your first row is complete, and so your second row, you're gonna start off with actually, it's a little different than the first row as you're gonna go, not going through in between, going through any beads. You're gonna be actually going through the bridge in between the two beads that you, in between the beads. So with our pattern, we start off with a black bead. And then you're gonna go in between the bridge here, between the two beads. You're gonna pull your thread through. So your bead is gonna be sitting kind of sideways right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the bottom of the bead so that it's gonna sit securely. And you're gonna pull your thread through. And in the beginning it is gonna be wonky but as you continue in your row, it's actually going to sit better. So if you see that it's not really sitting right, we'll move on to our next bead, which is red. Again, you're going beside the bead that you just added on, in between the bridge. Go through, the, pull your thread through. And you go through the bottom of the bead, pull through your thread through. There you go. See how that fixed up nicely. And you're going to continue adding red until the second last. And it can be a little awkward to hold because it is, there are small beads. So, just can move it around and hold it to where you feel comfortable. And And there is your second row. So 
So we chose to start at the widest point of the pattern so that it's easier to decrease your rows until we get to a more challenging part of the pattern where you increase. So now we're going to start our third row, which is the same as the second row. And your whole row is actually red. So we're going to do the same process as the second row and go through under the bridge and through the bottom of the bead. So your third row is done and you're actually going to repeat this process and this pattern until you have six, six beads, six red beads. So this is what your project's going to look like after you decrease all your rows to the row of six red beads and on the next row we did five black beads. And so for the next row we are actually going to increase which is different from decreasing as when we start the next row, we're actually gonna pick up two beads instead of one. So we're picking up two red beads. And just like the last row, we're gonna go through the bridge so that your beads are gonna sit like this. So instead of going through this first bead, you're gonna go through the second bead. You go through the bottom, pull your thread, and now your bead's going to stay like that. And that's how we increase. And carrying on, you do pick up red beads because your row is all red. So for this pattern in this row, you actually need six red beads. And once you get to this one here, it's actually five, but you need six. So to increase, well, we're going to take a bead. And so in the same place where you went through in this last bead to add on, you go under that bridge Sometimes it helps to pretend that bead's not there. So you're going through there. And then going through the bottom. And there's your, your row. And, and for our next row, we are increasing again. So we are gonna pick up two beads for our row, you go through the bridge, pull through, and you're going to go through the bottom of the second bead, pull through, and carry on. And again, we still need one more bead for this pattern. Go through the bottom, under the bridge. And 
we are going to be starting our two straps that we are going to do separately and to do this step we're going to combine two techniques that have been covered and we're going to start by doing a red picking up a red bead And this is a row of three, two red and a black. So after this bead is secured, we're going to do a black bead. And for our second row, we can switch this and we're going to do a black bead. We still need one more red bead so we're still gonna pick up one bead and we're gonna go under the bridge between the bead that we just added pull that through and then go underneath this bead and that's the second row to the strap And for our last row, we actually are going to pick up two beads, two red beads. We go through the second bead, pull through, and our last bead for this row is a black. And now this one strap is complete. So for the next step, we're actually gonna weave down. So you go through this, the bead in the middle here. And you pull the, your needle through. And we're gonna weave down and move weave over until we get through this second bead here. So let's just weave through. Weaving down, we're going to weave sideways and go through the th be next bead beside that. And up through this black bead. And now we're going to start the first row of the second strap, which is a black bead. to it helps sometimes it helps to flip the dress so that it feels more comfortable to start the next row and 
for our last row, we need two red. And we still need one more red bead, so we're going to pick up one red bead. And we're going to go underneath this bead to the bridge. And up. So this is our red dress and there's our half of the most of the red dress with the two straps. So now that our straps are completed on our dress and the next step is to move down to the bottom of the red dress and there's two options. One is to take your needle and thread and weave all the way down to the bottom. Option number two is to weave a portion of the way down and with the help of an adult you can cut your thread and take the extra portion of your thread and add it into the red dress where you want to start. My preference is option number two and I'm going to show you this that process which I was going to weave a portion of the way down and just take your thread and sometimes when you go a little too quick you can cause knots I just caught mine there so there you go that's nicer So basically you're going through the top of a bead and going through the bottom with your thread, making sure that they're right next to each other so that it weaves nicely through so the thread doesn't show. And you can go probably five, six beads in or down. And then what I do is I move in the other direction and I'll go through the bottom of a bead. Wait, let's go this way. Um, bottom of a bead and go through the top and switch the other direction so that if it, not that it ever really happens, but if your thread unravels, your, I don't know, I think it's just easier that way to weave in different directions. So that your thread is secure. So now that I've weaved a portion way through, I'm gonna to use the scissors and I'm going to pull the thread and cut. And this is our red dress, portion way through. And through the second option is you're gonna take your extra portion of your thread and you can put your needle on and at the bottom you're going to create a knot so you do a little circle one two three and you're going to pull your thread creates a little knot and what you're going to do is um you don't actually need this tail, so you're, with your scissors, you're gonna cut close to it, to the bottom of that knot, test it, pull it, it doesn't unravel. So we're okay to add our thread on. So basically, you kind of move probably three rows down, go through a bead, so that your knot is there, so if you pull it on your thread just a little bit, so that your knot doesn't show. And you weave through till you're at the bottom.
and we're at the bottom. So we've made it a partial way through the bottom of the dress. Now we're at a part where we have to, so our thread here is at the, at the top of the end of this row, but I need to move over to the second bead. So we're actually gonna weave down and over. So we're gonna go weave down this bead. And we're gonna go down this black bead. Pull your thread through. And we're gonna weave sideways up through this black bead. Pull your thread through and you're gonna go through the bottom of the second bead. So now we are ready to start our next row, which is we're gonna start off with one red bead. Again, go through the bottom of the bead and pull through. Oops, through our pattern, pick up another black bead as I dropped one. And following our pattern, we need one more black bead. So sometimes the, the bridge is a little hard to go through. So we can take our needle, we can take our needle nose pliers and help pull the needle through if it's a little hard to pull. So we finished the, the bottom of the red dress and so through the last row we did one more jump where we skipped the first bead and weaved through and went through the second to finish the last row. And now that the last row is done, so to finish this red dress we're actually going to use our thread and needle and we're going to weave through the red dress. And so. Just gonna weave the thread through. So you can weave through like five or six beads. And then you can change directions of where you're weaving through. It just makes the thread secure. And then with your scissors, we're going to cut the thread. What I like to do is I like to hold the thread and pull it a little tight so that when we use the scissors to cut it, the thread jumps back and it's not showing. And that's cut. So now we also need to weave in the tail, the last piece of thread. 
so with your needle and thread you are going to weave through And with the last one, I like to change direction. Pull your thread. Skip. Take your needle off. Take your scissors. Pull your thread. And you cut it. And this is your red dress complete. 